Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, today it's time for my monthly Q&A video. And I wanna thank everyone for all the great questions and comments on the videos. I really do appreciate it. I printed out the questions from the, from the last video. If you'd like to leave a question for next month, please be sure to leave a comment below and I will compile those and answer those questions next month. The first question is from Femur. Uh, I'm, I'm first, wow, great, and I haven't watched the video. Uh, okay, here's a generic film-related question. I always wanted to ask a film buff. What do you think of Coppola's Godfather epic film as opposed to the separate Godfather 1 and 2 uh, as separate films? I personally love it and prefer, the, and prefer it to the other films separately, although it's difficult to find. Now, I haven't seen the Godfather epic, but I do love Godfather 1 and 2 separately, so I will, I will definitely look for that, especially after your great recommendation. Um, and... You know, it's interesting to uh, know that they were both, you know, together as an epic. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm interested to learn more about that. And I will definitely seek that out because Godfather is definitely one of my favorite movies. Godfather 1 especially. Of course, I love Godfather 2 also. But that's a great question. And I really appreciate the recommendation. Very, very good there. Um, the next one comes from Andrew Furlong. He says, hi, Dave. Do you enjoy experimental films in the Criterion Collection such as by Bracage, I believe, or Science is Fiction. Um, and I looked actually looked these films up and I do enjoy experimental films. Um, I'm particularly a fan of the films of Chantal Ackerman. I suppose if you can call some of her earlier films experimental, but I'm a big fan of her films and I will definitely seek these out. I don't have these. Um, the first one you mentioned is spine number 518 and the second one's uh, science is fiction is spine number 468 and I do not have those but I looked them up and I think there's only a DVD release of that but please feel free to correct me in the comments below great question from Nathan Jones again Nathan has a great channel on YouTube as well um, so uh, thanks for this question Great video, love the diverse amount of questions. My question for the next Q&A is, if you could have a biological film of an artist or a band that you wish, who would it be? And some people know this, maybe some don't, but I'm a big fan of the band Fish. And so this is a, happens to be more of a documentary film about them, about their earlier, um, about the early part of their career. But I would love to see a biographical film on Fish anytime, any day. Um, so uh, this just happens to be one of the movies about them and uh, of course they have a lot of uh, concert uh, films as well but that is one artist that i would love to see a biographical film of and the other one would be elvis costello i'm a big fan of elvis costello this happens to be one of his concert films uh so i'm a uh, huge fan i've seen him a number of uh, a number of times it, it would be great to see another film about him, more biographical film about um, Elvis Costello. So those are my two picks for that. Um, and that's a great question. I really appreciate it. From Mr. Ryland 04, I picked up a Jerry Lewis box set recently and have been slowly making my way through it. My favorite so far is Cinderfella. And my question for next month is, what is your favorite Jerry Lewis movie? Uh, I do love Jerry Lewis and I have this box set. Maybe you have this Maybe you're watching off this box set. This happens to be a DVD box set. And there's the back of it. And this has 10, uh, well, 10 DVDs. And they each come in these um, kind of smaller cases with two films in each. We'll just open up, open it up so you can see kind of the inside here, um, what these look like. Some of these have special features and some don't, but these particular, uh, Releases have commentaries, it looks like, and uh, theatrical trailers and archival materials. So uh, this is the set that I have. And again, um, I think my favorite probably is going to be a pretty common one, and that would be The Nutty Professor off this uh, set. But he's got so many great films, uh, and I really enjoy these types of comedies as well. Let me know in the comments below if you have another favorite Jerry Lewis film. That would be great to know as well. And the final question is from Dan uh, Withrow. Uh, Dan's a regular viewer of the channel. I really appreciate this question. Curious about what you do when you get multiple copies of movies. I, re I recently received the World of Wong Kar Wai Criterion set on Blu-ray, and I'm debating on what to do with my copy of In the Mood for Love. Tempted to donate or give it to a friend so I can free up some space on the shelf, but there are some special features that aren't included on the Blu-ray. 
Curious what your thoughts and practices are. Hope all is well, and I hope you're doing well um, also. Um, this is a great question, and what I tend to do when I, when I get, let's say, a box set and I have individual copies of the films is if they do have extra features on the individual copies, I will keep, I will keep that copy. I'll give you an example. This, one's, uh, this uh, particular set, I think, it, well, the 4K set is very popular right now. This Indiana Jones four movie collection I just recently picked up and there's the back of that one. A lot of people picked up the 4K set. This one was on discount, I think for less than $30. So I picked it up because I have an old DVD set. This one's got a few special features on it. On, on set with Raiders of the Lost Ark, the making of the, all four Indiana Jones films and cast and creator interviews. Maybe not as many um, extra features as this original box set, which I've had for so many years. Maybe some of you have this one. This only has three of the movies, but you can see down the bottom here, it's got a lot of extra features on it. So I'll probably keep this DVD set. Um, this has the Indie Trilogy, A Crystal Clear Appreciation, The Mystery of the Melting Face, Snakes Alive, The Well of Souls, Storyboards, Creepy Crawlies, Discover Adventure on Location with Indiana Jones. Uh, so this has a lot of extra features on it. So my answer there would be, if the DVD or other Blu-ray that I have has extra features on it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it. Um, in the case where I'm just upgrading and I have an extra copy of it, more than likely what I do is I donate either to a local library or a Goodwill or something like that so, so that someone else can enjoy the movie as much as I have. So if I've upgraded to a Blu-ray and I still have the DVD, it doesn't have extra features on it, that's more than likely what I will do there. So. Wow, thanks so much for the great questions this month. I really do appreciate it. If you have a question for July, please leave it in the comments section below. And of course, let's, as always, keep the dialogue going down there. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.